Hi guys, so it's two and a half years since I created the uh, video to show how to change the Bluetooth and well what's changed? Well we've had the pandemic and stuff like that but I've still got the the dash flashing and I, I'm confident today now I've got the right software and paid a little bit of money I'm going to try and get it to stop today. So what, what we've got to do is we had to get this uh, software called the uh, multi-scan multi -scan software. Now the dealers were going to charge you hundreds and hundreds of pounds, but uh, I got hold of a, a set of cables now and uh, the ELM 327 interface. Uh, so basically you get, you get a cable and you get six little coloured adapters. They have all the different coloured adapters, they come in a pack. I'll put the link up. And uh, most of the Alpha Julieta ones use the yellow adapter. So once you've got, uh, you need to get a registered version of this multi-E scan. And what, what, what you'll find is, you see here, this is the one that says, oh, you know, for Alpha Julieta 1.6 dashboard. And then this Converge, Convergence Marlelli, Miss, Miss uh, Microsoft Blue and Me. So you can see that what happens is it doesn't know what the old box is, is name is. Now, you know, the ISO code, the ISO code it says or something. So I'll just show you that. So if, if I go to connect, to connect to the car, it says connect the yellow adapter. So you go down, put, put it in to your BP port, like so. And then you just click yes. And what I'm just showing you here, how it's it basically doesn't recognize the box. And I'm pretty sure that's the bit that it hasn't recognized. So down at the bottom of the message, it says, uh, unknown ISO code, module cannot be identified. So that's what the, the problem is. So basically what we need to do is change that. So I'll put no here. So what you have to do now, as I've been told, I, I spoke to some of the diagnostics companies to, to, to help, and you have to go down to do a proxy alignment, which you can get down here. So I've not done the proxy alignment yet, so I thought I'd save it for you because, you know, I've waited such a long time. So I wanted to put it up because I know a lot of people still have the flash and dash problem and aren't prepared to pay the money. But... Uh, that this is what I think you need to do. So now, if I press connect now, it's put in the yellow adapter already. Press yes. Now what this should do is it will identify, it hopefully will find the new box and replace the new box with the, the you know, the, well replace the old box with the new box. So as you can see here, it says convergence telematic node has failed, right? So I think all I have to do is uh, either click on it do I or click adjustments uh, yeah so a flashing odometer indicates the the proxy is not aligned properly if your odometer flashes or if you added or removed or replaced CAN modules from your vehicle then you need to execute this procedure the the most common cases when you need proxy alignment is after replacing your instrument cluster etc but it's the same for things like blue and me so it says, do not interrupt the process once it's started. The key should be at MAR and engine off. And engine off. Okay. Uh, well, I better read this. It's a good point when I read it. I should have read it earlier. Um, the key should be at MAR and engine off. After successful execution of the procedure, turn your engine. Turn your key. That's successful. The key should be at MAR. And engine off. Yeah, that's where we are. Okay, just wanted to check that. After successful execution of the procedure, turn your key to off and wait at least five seconds before turning it back on. Okay, so we just click execute. Read all notes, which we've done. And now it's going to go through each of the modules and write down uh, and look to like find what's currently in the car, hopefully. So, you know, when you do this, sometimes you just think to yourself, oh, maybe I should have read that, you know, cause we, we, but I'm pretty sure this is, this is going to fix it because I, I have been told. So, but, you know, you always worry about your cars, don't you? 
<laughs> so what else has changed in the in the alpha world? You've not. It looks like Alpha Man's videos are are no more. It looks like his car unfortunately got crashed into. But there is a new guy now that's doing some amazing videos. That's really reinvigorated me to watch uh, stuff and improve. I uh, change my battery and stuff to stop the passenger airbag not working and the start stop not working. It works now. He showed me how to change the battery on the car. You need to you need to be logging on to Tony Tony Vitoli. Look for him on Facebook. He's created about seventy videos in in about five months. It's amazing, amazing stuff. It's very professionally produced and uh, there's a lot of things I hope to do the seats sometime get them cleaned that looks amazing he'll tell you about the the wiring how to do your rear wiring which often breaks down so that he's who you need to look at uh, I've been that's kind of reinvigorated me to to have another go to uh, you know get back and now I've seen how to use the OBD connector and stuff like that and what wires you needed I thought I oh, saw that I'll give it a go so here we go I've done it so turn the key to off so we'll turn the key to off and then it said turn the key to off so click yes and then hopefully I'm really excited this happens turn it back to Mar and hopefully now we shouldn't be flashing and we're not <laughs> So now we do not need the tape, uh, and we're we're all sorted. So that, that tape can go now. Uh, if you need any help, if some of the repu reputable uh, dealers, I think it said, uh, is it D J W W Auto Diagnostics are are very helpful. Uh, I'll put I'll put the link up. Uh, but but it's well worth you can, and also this ease, this software the multi scan you can also look at service intervals fault codes and things like that so if you're going to keep your alpha Juliet and you care about it it's a it's a, a really a really good thing to do so what are we at then 165,000 miles 164,000 miles are still counting very, very few problems and uh, I mean you keep going so yeah I'm delighted about that I'll put that up I hope that's maybe helped. And that just shows how easy it is to do a proxy alignment. The cables are about 33 quid, and then you need to find, uh, I think the license is about 50, which I, I got to uh, off with someone uh, for friends. Okay, so speak soon. Bye.